Welcome into Three Bold Takes. Quinn, Chase, and Freddie here with you guys. We're talking about teams and their successful 2024 seasons. This video, we're going to talk about Colorado, the Buffaloes, Deion Sanders, Primetime, Shador, the whole nine, guys. We're going to talk about Colorado and their 2024 season. Freddie, you have a lot to say. I need to hear you say it. Talk to me. Yeah, so if you're new around here... um, I was not at all a Colorado lover uh, heading into last year, heading into 2023. I thought three, four wins max. Um, They ended up getting four, so a little high on the end of what I thought they would do. Now, they enter the Big 12, and we just got done doing Utah, and we were taking a look at their schedules, um, and wow, Colorado's schedule is much harder than Utah. Now, not only do they have to play Utah, they also had to play Oklahoma State, Kansas, Arizona, Kansas State, and then, oh, by the way, North Dakota State in week one. And if you're unfamiliar, North Dakota State is one of the best FCS teams of all time, period. Still still going, by the way. It's not like it was in the past. Still going. And then on uh, in week two, you have to go at Nebraska after beating them at home last year. So... What makes a successful season for Colorado in 2024? I think it's getting Shador Sanders or Travis Hunter drafted number one overall. That's it. That is it um, to me. I, that that would bring huge press to Colorado, to Dion, what they're doing, that they can actually develop players, keep them. Because I'm looking at this schedule and I'm seeing three wins, maybe four again. So I think... And if if you want to go what makes successful on the field, you've got to get five wins. You've got to improve. God, I can't even speak. This is unreal. You have to improve off of last year, but I don't see it happening with this schedule. I mean, you can beat, you can beat, okay, let's just say they beat North Dakota State. All right, that's one. You can beat Colorado State. That's two. Maybe Baylor, three. We'll give them three. Um, And then all of the other teams... UCF, maybe. That's four. Now, where's the other one coming from? Cincinnati, Texas Tech. Those are the only two options you got. So you got to win one of those. So it's going to be tough sledding next year for Colorado in 2024. Um, I can't wait to see the press, what Dion has to say after he gets beat by North Dakota State and FCS team. Like I just, I just can't wait to see it. Quinn? Yeah, a uh, successful year for Colorado. I, I think you definitely have to take care of. Let's get this out of the way. You have to beat North Dakota State, which I'm not going to get on here and tell you that's going to be easy. Because uh, North Dakota State, I have more respect for them as a program than I do a lot of the lower tier FBS programs, if we're going to be completely honest, as far as like on field talent. You also need to take care of Colorado State, which is an in state rival for you, which is interesting given the dynamic between Power 5 and G5. But outside of those two games, I think you need a marquee big win. Something that sticks for people. I will accept a marquee big win as one of the above. An upset over Utah, Kansas State, Kansas, Oklahoma State. One of those four could qualify. And then I think, as as weird as this could sound, I think a road win over Nebraska can also qualify. You're talking about a big rivalry game or what used to be a big rivalry game early in the season when people will still remember you because you have the chance to start 3 and up, right? Because it's sandwiched right there in between what I think are the must, must win games of the season. Right. For a successful year, Freddie, I kind of agree with your take for the most part. I would say four to six wins, somewhere in that range. I would say winning four again with this schedule in comparison to last year's schedule is improved. I think this is a harder schedule than what you faced last year. So if you tell me that you got four wins, while that's drawing even on the win-loss record, it's, to me, an improvement. I would say a real draw even would be if you regress down to always three wins in this. That would kind of be like staying in the same place to me, just based off strength of schedule. Yeah, I mean, there's a real chance that they could be a better team this year, but have the same or worse record uh, in 2024, for sure. So I would say four to six 
showed me signs of improvement. And I think that take about getting Hunter drafted, I, I don't know about Shooter Sanders being a number one overall pick, but we'll push that to the side. Travis Hunter, though, being a guy that goes in the top five, that is a legitimate possibility. And it could bring serious reputation to your school. Because this is a guy that's not playing for you because he's your son, right? So people can't really throw that out there. He's just a sheer talented dude who wants to play for you and stayed playing for you through Jackson State and Colorado. Not right. necessarily high-tier programs, all right? That could go a long way for him if he can maintain that. Uh, so, yeah, I would say four to six wins and get Hunter drafted in the top five. All right. Well, I am definitely on a different stratosphere than you guys. So let me just go down my list of what I have for Colorado in 2024. For me, I think it's a six to eight win game range. I think it is doable. I think they can uh, get six, at least six wins. I think that's a step up because you're you're not the same team as last year. You're, you're adding talent. Make them step up. Definitely, because we're also, this is fresh off the midst of Deion Sanders hopping on Twitter saying that a player was mid, told him to hop in the transfer portal, this whole stuff, like a lot of off-field drama right now. If you're as good as you say you are and you're having all this talk in the off-season about uh, some drama, then you better be a better football team on the field in 2024, in my opinion. Um, You have that. I think they they should finish in the top 25. I think they need to finish in the top 25. Um. I think I'm agree with you guys. I think they need to beat one of Kansas State, Utah, or Oklahoma State, the statement game. I think they could most susceptible might be Oklahoma State. I think they need to make a bowl game, which you can do at at least six wins. I think they can do that. And lastly, this is the biggest one. I was going into last year. Freddie was the opposite of me. Freddie was the non-Colorado lover. I was the Colorado lover heading into last season. And I said, hey, I think they could win uh, five to eight games going into last season. But once they won three and then they got stomped two weeks in a row, you saw them kind of putter out. They lost momentum. For me, is even if you lose a couple games in a row, having that momentum to continue to win games later in the season and have no off-field issues, that goes for Dion. That goes for Shador. That goes for Travis Hunter. Travis Hunter's actually been one that has it. But Dion and Shador have been in just – the jumping jacks of let's make Twitter headlines or do something controversial, you know, play the game of football and then let, let your actions speak for you. But getting on Twitter, roasting a a former player that was there and then winning four games, isn't really going to help you or your brand. So, because if, if they've finished with four or less wins this season, maybe you start to turn the oven on and say, Dion, you're kind of on the hot seat because you're not, bringing what you said you've brought and the two guys that have built his legacy are leaving this next year and Travis Hunter and Shador Sanders. So that's something to look at, but I have a lot more qualifications for Colorado because I think they can be a good team in 2024. Uh, and I think they can beat a Nebraska. They can beat UCF. They can beat Kansas. I think they're definitely going to lose those bigger teams more than likely, but just having that momentum, making those statement games. So they're not making a bowl game. Yeah. They're not you think there's no there's absolutely no chance that with the raw talent that exists on their roster that they we got six with not with this schedule i really don't i mean the games that you have at home um are against teams that are far superior to you like your tough games and the games like kansas and kansas state i, I guess they get kansas state at home but like your kansas like that could be a very pivotal pivotable game it's on the road and I know Kansas like doesn't have the biggest home field advantage but I would argue that their fans are absolutely nuts so that's shout that's out of McLovin. concern yeah shout out McLovin interesting so I don't think they make a bowl game all right well you heard it from Freddie first no bowl game for Colorado he believes but that's one of three bold takes guys and we thank you so much for watching and listening this is Freddie Chase and Quinn, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think about Colorado and their 2024 football season.